The Federal Executive Council has approved a supplementary budget worth 2.176 trillion naira to fund urgent projects and commitments of the federal government. Minister of Budget and Economic Planning at Tikubagudu revealed this to newsmen on Monday after a meeting of the Federal Executive Council. He spoke on a day the cabinet approved the award of contracts for the construction of access roads to the Abuja light rail at a cost of 5.5 billion naira. Kendi Amadou reports. There was always going to be a supplementary budget with the financial commitments the president had entered into while trying to steer the ship of state through stormy waters. This supplementary budget is aimed at funding urgent issues pertaining to national defense and security, for which 605 billion naira has been set aside. In addition to this, 300 billion naira has been earmarked to repair bridges, including the Eko and Third Mainland bridges. Equally, the sum of 210 billion naira has been provided in the budget for the payment of wage awards and 400 billion naira as cash transfer payments. Equally, there is a question on the wage award. Why did I say September, October? This is a supplementary budget for 2023. So the supplementary budget is providing money for this year, whatever is incidental to this year, whatever is for 2024 will be included in 22. In fact, that is why this budget even became urgent because we negotiated with labor. We, they were promised payments will be made this year for some categories of the negotiation and there was no budgetary provisions. And that's one of the reasons why uh, we are doing Meanwhile, the Council of Ministers approved 5.5 billion naira for access roads to the Abuja light rail. This is in addition to 100 billion naira that has been provided in the supplementary budget for urgent and immediate capital expenditure works in the federal capital territory to enhance infrastructure. Today, uh, Council approved the award of contract for the construction of access roads for the light, the Abuja light rail. You are aware that Mr. President has given a directive that he must want, he will want to ride on the uh, metro line. And now it will not be possible if there are no access roads to commuters, to communities around. Last week, council did approve about three, but this one has to do with lot four. Lot four has to do with communities around the airport and then where you have the uh, the hatch camp. If you don't create parks, if you don't put access roads, it will be difficult. And so we, the council decided to approve this to Mr. CCECC at a cost of 5.9 billion. We believe with this access road being created and car parks, uh, we believe hopefully by next year, uh, most of us will be joining the, the metro line. The Independent National Electoral Commission has been provided with 18 billion naira to conduct elections in Bayelsa, Kogi, and Imo states. Meanwhile, 5.5 billion naira was provided for the funding of the Student Loans Board, while 8 billion naira was set aside for the takeoff grant of new ministries. From State House Abuja, Kendi Amudu, Trust TV News.